In this example, we're given the same three sets as in the previous example, but now we're illustrating the distributive identities. The distributive identities are similar to what you would have done in algebra, where if you had something like this, you could distribute this multiplication across this addition by multiplying 2 times x and then multiplying 2 times 3 and adding those. So we distribute the multiplication across the addition. We can do the same thing with the intersection operation and the union operation. Look at the first one, for instance, in A. Think of the intersection as multiplication and the union as addition. And we can say A times B plus C is like A times B plus A times C. And that's where that first distributive identity comes from. It turns out if we flip them and do A union B intersect C, we can also distribute that union across the intersections, which is a little less like the distributive identity from algebra, but it's the same principle. We're distributing one operation across the other. Again, as before, we're not going to prove these identities, but we'll illustrate them by calculating both sides and showing that we get the same answer either way. On the left-hand side, we'll first start by calculating B union C. So we start with everything from B and add in any elements from C that we don't already have, which would be 1, 3, and 10 and 11. Then we take the intersection of that answer with A. So we look for what elements are in A and also in this. We notice that 1, 2, 3, and 4 appear in that union and also appear in A. So we get the answer 1, 2, 3, 4 for the left-hand set in this equality. So we'll do the right-hand set now and make sure that we get the same answer, 1, 2, 3, 4. A intersect B, we look for what elements are in A and in B, and that would be 2 and 4. A intersect C, so all the elements that are in A and in C, and that's 1 and 3. So the union of these two answers will indeed be 1, 2, 3, and 4. So it checks out that we get the same answer both ways. Again, we haven't proven that identity, but we've illustrated it and we've shown that it holds here with this example. We can do the second one similarly. Start with B intersect C for the left hand side. The elements that are in B and in C are simply the one element 9. That's the only thing that appears in both sets at once. If we take A union with that answer, we take everything from A and add in this element 9. Then working on the right hand side, we'll find A union B first, which will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 6, 8, and 9. Then find A union C which will be 1 through 5, and then 9, 10, and 11. And if we take the intersection of those two things, we notice that the 1 through 5 appears in both of them. And then also the 9 appears in both of them. And that's everything that appears in both. So again, we notice we got the same answer whether we worked with the left-hand side or the right-hand side. And these again are called the distributive identities which hold for any two sets A and B.